Hello traders and welcome back to another video here on the Learn to Trade channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, something a little bit different and uh, we're going to uh, tap into why it's so important as a forex trader to look at the DXY or the US dollar currency index, right? Um, first of all, why don't we go to the DXY chart and uh, we're going to start by analyzing that chart and what's going on, uh, what has gone on uh, in drawings. Uh, lately with the, the US dollar. Now the US dollar currency index is, is a basket of uh, the most traded US dollar currency pairs, right? So it gives, gives you a gauge on uh, the current uh, US dollar uh, price, right? Um, and uh, where it has been and where it's going. So what we're going to do, we're going to look, I mean, I personally, I'm always looking at the DXY when taking trades. Why? Because the US dollar is the most traded uh, currency in the world. And the US dollar is king. Remind yourself of that. The US dollar is king. The US dollar moves markets, right? Uh, the inversion, the vertical relation between the US dollar and gold, for example. Uh, when you're trading US dollar pairs versus very weak currencies like uh, the Norwegian krona, etc., you are going to want to look at the US dollar because the US dollar is the strongest of the two currencies in that currency pair. So a, so a, a small move in the US dollar might just catapult uh, the US dollar versus the Norwegian krona, right? That's why trading miners and exotics is very, can be very profitable um, because of how much impulse they get when we have a US dollar move, right? So we're going to start by looking at the US dollar, gold, the euro USD, etc. Right. The first thing you need to understand is that uh, uh, when it comes to currency pairs, right? Uh, let's say we're talking about the euro US dollar, right? Um, if we have a bullish move on the uh, on the US dollar, this is going to be bearish for the euro versus the US dollar. Why is that? Because because the stronger the US dollar gets, right, the weaker the currency exchange between the euro and the US dollar gets, right? Um, on the other side, if we look at the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, and uh, we have a uh, bullish move in the US dollar, then the exchange rate between the US dollar and the Canadian dollar is going to move higher. So that's the first thing you need to understand um, when it comes to trading the U.S. dollar. Remember that uh, gold is uh, priced in U.S. dollars, so we need to also look for weakness in gold when it comes to U.S. dollar strength. Why? Because it's XAUUSD. So by getting a bullish move in the U.S. dollar, price in gold will, or the exchange rate between XAU and USD is going to go lower. All right, so that's the logic between, or how, that's how you need to look at um, currency pairs and uh, where to position, because this is important on where you're going to position yourself in the market. Right now, uh, this is the DXY. Why don't we have a look at uh, the uh, US dollar too? um let me just put on the correct template and apply to all right so this is the euro uh this is the US dollar japanese yen on the daily we are going to look at the euro versus the usd right here this is the daily we're going to look at the same time frame right here so uh, let me remove this indicator and uh this is the two hour chart on the dxy right and the two hour chart on the US dollar. You can see that this is inversely correlated. Whilst the DXY is rallying, the US dollar is dipping, all right? And you can see that the moves are practically mirrored by uh, the Euro versus the USD, right? Myself, personally, I don't like trading the Euro versus the USD because there's two very strong conflicting uh, currencies trading be, you know, uh, against each other, so that makes for some uh, for some very very annoying choppy ranges uh, and low uh, volatility, right? In the, in the other case, where if you trade the US dollar against the Mexican peso, for example, 
you get one very strong currency pair and one weaker currency pair. So uh, when uh, we get big moves in the US dollar, uh, it's going to have a bigger effect on the US dollar versus the Mexican peso than it's going to have on the euro versus the US dollar. Right? So uh, in, let's imagine that you are bullish on the US dollar from the lows right here. And uh, you saw that the, uh, that the DXY broke with the previous high. And you are waiting for this retest right here to get long on the US dollar, right? What are you going to do? Of course, that you're not going to trade the DXY itself. You need to look for the best uh, um, opportunity and you, not, and you have to choose uh, the uh, financial product for that trade. In this case, we are going to choose the euro versus the US dollar. Why? Because uh, when the DXY broke right here with that level of resistance, well, the euro versus the USD broke with that level of support, right? And uh, because we are waiting for that retest and rejection for us to get along on the US dollar, and we know that a long that a bullish move on the U, on the US dollar is bearish for the euro versus the US dollar, we are going to wait for the retest of that level of resistance of support. I'm sorry, that was broken with on the euro versus the USD to go short. Why? Because a short position on the euro versus the US dollar is basically going long on the USD. And in this case, we were right. Uh, if we were patient enough to wait for that retest, we would have made a cool 150 pips, right? With a, uh, let's see, with a 1% move on, uh, to the upside on the US dollar. So a 1% move on the DXY translates to roughly 150 pips on the Euro USD, right? So that is something you need to understand uh, when it comes to forex trading. This is the base of forex trading. Um, you have to look at the currencies by themselves before even thinking about taking a trade. That's why most of the traders lose money when it comes to FX trading. Thank you for uh, uh, joining us. If you like this video, uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, please comment in the below this video what you want to uh, what you want me to go through next. Right? Thank you.